Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, my wee cream buns. Come on, let's play. Pass the parcel. Go! That's well done. Stop! I'm going. Is she, Stephen? You take off some paper. No, you've not won. No. And play. I'll not play. Oh! Oh, it's Stephen again. Right. Oh, we make it. Maybe this time it's you. Who is going to win? We've got Stephen and we've got Megan, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Money? Who's that? Yes, it's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello there, Dr. Juno. Hello, and Samson. Come on, boy. Good boy. Come on. Come and see Granny. That's the way. Come and say hello to Samson, oh, everyone. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. <laughs> oh, gentle now, my darling. Oh, I see somebody's been unwrapping a present. Oh, yes. We've been having a present-giving day today. We're going to give Edith the lollipop lady a present. Oh, she deserves it. She's such a treasure. <laughs> How about stopping the pats and dressing Claude up as Edith the lollipop lady? Good idea, Granny Murray. Into your basket, Samson. Oh, I'll get a good view of Claude from there. And I'll tidy up some of this wrapping paper and give us a seat. I love scrunching wrapping paper. Can you help me? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All done. So, you're giving Edith the lollipop lady a present, are you? Yes, it's a new computer game. Oh, she loves her computer. Oh, isn't she amazing? She must have been helping children across that road to that primary school for yonks. Oh, I remember her when I was a little girl. Yes, she's been helping children to cross safely for years. I know, she's always so kind and cheerful. She let me hold a lollipop once. Ah, well, you see, that's why we're giving her a present. A good deed deserves thanks. Too right, Granny Murray. Well, how about giving her a photo of Claude dressed like that? <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, Megan. Oh, wow, Claude. You'll be off to Edith's job next. And wait, he's got something in his pocket. <gasps> What's this? It's a leaflet about crossing the road safely. You take that with your poppet. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. Right, I better be off to work. Bye, Samson. <coughs> be good for Granny Murray. <laughs> now remember, a good deed deserves thanks. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Which is the best way to work? Thank you. I'm in a need in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a truck way. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick Hurry, hurry, hurry on the tram lights Clutter, clutter, clutter at the points Whiny, whiny, whiny drives the speed up Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky slows us down Clutter, clutter, clutter through the street Now squeaky, squeaky to a stop I'm in the need, in a hurry I really, really need the speed to work Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry and hurry to get changed. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, I'll read this road safety leaflet later. Hmm, 10 o'clock. Oh, Nurse Hendry, any patients yet? Uh, yes, we're quite busy actually, and there's a case I think you may want to take. Right, lead the way. Hello, Raymond. Oh, hello. Hello. What's happening with Jack and Lisa? Well, and Jack came over to play with Lisa. We were jumping on the bed and we bumped our heads. So you were playing kangaroos, were you? Yes. Oh, dear. We'll just have to check them over. Let's have a look. Have you guys got any headaches? No. Oh, that's good. Could you tell me what you had for breakfast? 
Cornflakes and yogurt. Oh, that's nice. Butter and toast. OK, that's nice too. Do you mind if I just check your eyes? Yes. Okay. I mean, no. Oh. OK. Good boy. There we go. Well done. Let's have a look. Good girl. Well, you've got no concussion, just two black eyes. We'll just have to put some ice packs on your eyes, won't we? <laughs> OK, Doc. Well, you both be right as rain in a couple of days, but there's a little lesson to learn here. Don't jump on the beds. Got that? Yes, Dr. Juno. Good. Right, I'll just leave you in the capable hands of Nurse Hendry. See you later. <laughs> well, I hope young Master Sampson is behaving himself for Granny Murray and not jumping up and down on her bed. I love to skip the river, see thing. Sit. Good boy. <laughs> Morning, my little sparkler. Morning. All ready to cross the road? Yeah. Me too. Come on, then, darling. Come on, Angel. <laughs> Here you are. This is for me and Samson. Oh, is it a present for yeah. me? It's to say thank you for being so kind and generous, Edith. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Samson. Dr Juno would be so proud of you. Not interrupting, am I? Oh, Raymond, come in. Have oh. a seat. Are Lisa and Jack okay now? Oh, they're fine. Actually, I just wanted to thank you for looking after them so well. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, wow, <laughs> you shouldn't have. This is fantastic. Oh, a little doggy. It's great. Oh, I'll put it right here next to my photo of Samson. Oh, thank you, Raymond. Oh, it's my pleasure. You deserve it. Ta-ta. <laughs> oh, bye, Raymond. Right, this will never do. I better get down to some hard work. <laughs> it's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. Rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Oh yeah. I'll be there to comfort you at all times. I'll be there to see all is fine. I'll be there whenever I'm needed. Yeah. To hear the heart. Really hard morning so far. Oh, look, Claw's road safety leaflet. Let's have a look. Find a safe place to cross the road and stop at the curb. Look all around for traffic and listen. Oh, wait until it's safe to cross and let the traffic pass. Ooh. Oh, walk across the road, don't run, keep looking and listening out for traffic. Oh, arrive alive. That way, you won't end up in my hospital, will you? <laughs> I hope Samson's stopping and looking and listening. Samson, what's wrong, darling? That's not like you to be barking. 
Come on now. But he was been a good boy, Granny Murray. He was barking to stop Ben running out onto the road. Oh, oh. he's a clever dog. Well done, Samson. Oh, wait till we tell Doctor. Do you know how good you've been? I can't wait to see you later, Samson. <laughs> You've been working so hard all day, Dr. Juno, but it's quieting down a bit now, so I've made you some tea. Oh, my hero, that's just what I needed. <laughs> and some of your favourite biscuits too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, your paper. Oh, must be a new patient. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. You drink your tea. <laughs> oh. Actually, I think you better come and sort this out after all, Dr. Juno. Coming. Your dog saved Ben from running out on the road, so I brought you a little present. Oh, um, thank you. Bye. Oh, I'm so glad Samson saved Ben. Oh. Everything all right, Doc? Oh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Oh, I have a funny feeling something's not quite right. Like what? Um, I don't know. Something. Um, oh, I can't work it out. Hmm. See, I've been working really hard all day, but I have a funny feeling I've got to do something. But what? Where did the time go? At nine o'clock, I dropped off Samson at Granny Murray's. Granny Murray told me she was taking Samson to give a present to Edith, the lollipop lady, to say thank you for being so kind and cheerful. At 10 o'clock, I got to work. Nurse Henry asked me to see two patients, Lisa and Jack. They'd been bouncing on the bed and bumped their heads, the naughty pickles. They were soon OK, though. At 11 o'clock, Raymond gave me a lovely toy dog as a thank you present for looking after Lisa and Jack. It reminded me of Samson. Then, at 1 o'clock, I learnt all about crossing the road safely from Claude's special leaflet. Stop, look and listen. At 2 o'clock, Ben's mum brought me a present to say thank you. At the park, Samson had saved Ben from running out into the road. But I still can't work out what it is I should be doing. Now remember, a good deed deserves thanks. A good deed deserves thanks. <gasps> That's it! I knew there was something I hadn't done. I need to say thank you to Samson for being such a clever dog. I'm coming, my waggy friend. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure, she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. She's going to start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Hello, Angel. What are you doing here? Well, I just had to pop round to give Samson a special present as a thank you for being such a clever dog and for being my special waggy friend. Oh, come on in. Oh, no, no, no. I'm due back at the hospital, but I will pop back to pick him up later. OK, bye-bye, darling. Well, I do hope Samson enjoys his special present while I finish up at work. Oh, I wonder what your present can be, Samson. <gasps> Let's see. Oh, it looks like a... a bone. There you go. You won't want your tea when Dr. Juno comes to pick you up later. Dr. Juno, come away in. Samson, look nice, Samson. Hey, good boy. Did you have a nice time with Granny Murray? Oh, Samson wants to say thank you. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. A good deed deserves thanks. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye.
Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, wigging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, using things and rushing round. was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as Edith, the lollipop lady, because the children and I wanted to give Edith a special present. It was to say thank you to Edith for helping the children to cross the road safely all these years. Afterwards, we took Samson for a run in the park. He started to bark at little Ben and I thought Samson was being naughty, but he wasn't. He was barking to stop Ben running out onto the road. What a clever dog! Ben's mum took Dr Juno a special present to say thank you. Dr Juno brought the special present round for Samson because she remembered that a good deed deserves thanks. Samson loved his present. A big juicy bone. Look what the children gave me today as a thank you for looking after them. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Cory and we've got Alana. But don't just sit there, treasures. Come on, let's have some fun. <laughs> We've got Cory and we've got Alana, but someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Lisa with Tina. Hello there. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> oh, Hi, Granny Murray. <laughs> Lisa. Come on, with you. Wow, this sounds like fun. Yeah, we're going to have a great day today, Tina. Dr. Juno's going to a wedding later <gasps> and we're all going to go and see all the guests arriving at the wedding. Oh, <laughs> but now Lisa's here, we'll do something new. <gasps> Why don't you all dress Claude up as a wedding bride? On you go then, my treasures. You know, I don't know why, but weddings always make me cry. Especially when the bride comes in looking so beautiful. Oh, I just burst into tears. Well, I just want to burst out laughing. <laughs> Everybody's so happy and having a great time. I often drive people to weddings. That's why I keep my taxi sparkling clean. Well, whatever the wedding, it's always important to look your best. That's what I say anyway. Do you know, Dr Juno's going to pop round later on and show us the outfit she's wearing to the wedding. Oh, yes, I think it's going to be rather special. Oh, oh, Claude's looking rather special too. <laughs> oh, Claude, you look like a beautiful blushing bride. Brides and weddings always make me cry. Really? Oh. You'll maybe need that later if you have to take someone to a wedding. Oh, oh thanks, Lisa. Thank you. Oh. I'll see you later, sweetheart. <laughs> Come on, then. Now remember, whatever the wedding, you should always look your best. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. You keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charm Getting there is just so fine I so Sure. 
show me the way I go. Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go that way or do I go this? Which way's a hit and which way's a miss? Hey! Okay, left to the garage. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that way. Hello, builders. Oh, hello, hat. Hello, flower. <laughs> hello, cat. Hello, green man. Hello, flat. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that's a win. Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You showed me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Now, what's next? Oh, yes. I have to get ready for work. <laughs> Hello, Tina. Hello, Dr Juno. <laughs> I hear you're off to a wedding today. I am. And I came to ask if you drive me there. I want to arrive in style. Of course I'll take you. And I'll make sure my taxi's looking its best. Oh, thank you. I'm going to an Indian wedding. My friends are Hindi. And guess what? The bridegroom's going to ride on a big white horse to meet his bride. Oh, oh how lovely. And, and, and will she be in a big white dress? Oh, no, no. A Hindu bride always wears red and gold. <laughs> Tina, are you OK? Uh, I'm fine. It's, it's just that brides and weddings always make me cry. Oh. <laughs> well, I know my friend Nima is going to look beautiful and I've got a special outfit to wear as well. After the wedding, there's going to be a huge party with lots of dancing. Oh, brilliant. So what time do you want me to drive you there? About three o'clock. I'm off to Granny Morris to get ready now. OK, I'll see you at three. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> a red and gold wedding dress, a big white horse for a bridegroom, and lots of dancing. What a lovely wedding it's going to be. <laughs> it's just as well Lisa gave me this hanky. I wonder how she's getting on. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Woohoo! Look at Debbie, guys. Oh, that's a good girl, Lisa. Remember this? Oh, that's a great spin, Rachel. <laughs> Do you know, this is the kind of dancing Dr Juno and our friends will be doing at the wedding tonight. <laughs> oh, Lisa, I wonder if your mum will drive Dr Juno to the wedding tonight. What are you doing now, Mummy? Hmm. Well, whatever Lisa's doing, I'm sure she's having a good time. <laughs> oh, <I don't> know. <laughs> Hi, Tina. <laughs> Hello, you two. Oh, what are you doing with that? Well, for one night, and for one night only, the Fairy Boat Band are going to be... The Fairy, Fairy Boat Clowns! <laughs> <laughs> that is so loud. Great, isn't it? Yeah, we want to do a clown act as part of our show this evening. There'll be lots of children on the boat, you oh. see? But we don't have any clown costumes or many clown things. Only this. <laughs> and this beautiful flower. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't wait to try that out on someone. <laughs> anyway, we were wondering if you have any clown stuff that we could borrow. Oh, well, I'm sure we've got some props and costumes <gasps> over here. Yeah. You're welcome to have a look. Oh, thanks, Tina. I'm sorry you got squirted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll leave those two clowns to get on with it, and I'll get on with some hard work. City roads are waiting. Traffic lights are changing Police cars are cruising The trucks keep on trapping And the city roads are waiting for me To take a drive in my pretty pink taxi People wave me down in my pretty pink taxi Get into the back and just relax for the ride Pretty pink taxi, she's going Oh, the radio, cos 
Because of a taxi fare, who am I going to meet? Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi, oh! Woo! Cruising a city in my pretty pink taxi, yeah! Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi! You've got some fantastic stuff in your store, Tina. <laughs> Thanks so much. Would you like to see some of our clown act? Oh, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was really good. But do you know what would make it even funnier? What? If you filled the bucket with confetti. Now, I'm sure we've still got the bucket of confetti somewhere in the store. Oh, is this it? No. This bucket's got whitewash in it. <laughs> we used that for painting the house. And Raymond got it all over himself. <laughs> oh, there's some boxes of confetti here. Oh, well, you can take those. Now, why don't you go and practice your routine with the confetti and then I'll be your audience again. <laughs> Thanks so much, Tina. You're a real star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Dr Juno will be here soon, so I'd better go and give my taxi a quick polish just to make sure it looks its best for the wedding. Rachel, darling. Oh. oh, thank you so much. What do you think, Lisa? Oh, you look like a princess. Oh, oh. <laughs> a beautiful princess. Well, I'm going to be going. I'm going to be seeing your mum in a bit, Lisa. Are you working hard, Mummy? Oh, right, it's really good now, Tina. Will you watch us? Oh. OK, but you'll need to make it quick, because Dr Juno's arriving any minute and I'm taking her to a wedding so we can't be late. Right, we're using two buckets, one with confetti and one with whitewash. Oh, well, you, you will be careful with the whitewash, won't you? It's, I don't want any slopping around near me. Don't worry, Tina, you're getting the bucket full of confetti. And Lou is getting the bucket of whitewash. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this. Here we go, then. <laughs> Bucket. Thank you. Bucket. Thank you. Bucket. Oh, watch out! Oh, oh, oh no! I'm sorry! My taxi! The wedding! It's three o'clock already. If we don't leave soon, we're going to be late. Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped Lisa at Granny Murray's. At nine o'clock, I got to work. Dr Juno came and asked if I'd drive her to a very special wedding this afternoon. At ten o'clock, Chuck and Louie came to see me. Chuck had a funny old car horn which went... <laughs> and Louie got me with a squirty flower. They wanted to borrow some clown costumes for a show they're doing on the boat. At one o'clock, I got back to the garage. Chuck and Louie did a clown routine for me with a pretend bucket of water and we found some confetti to put in a bucket. At two o'clock, Chuck and Louie did their clown act for me again. It was going really well, and then, disaster! Chuck threw her bucket of whitewash all over my sparkling clean taxi. Now remember, whatever the wedding, you should always look your best. Whatever the wedding, you should always look your best. Well, my taxi's not taking Dr Juno to the wedding looking like this. It's teamwork. Let's get my taxi cleaned up. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. She know how to fix it. Will she finish what she has begun? It's a 
I'm going to beat the clock before the time. I'm going to start it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish the song. Oh, thank you, Tina. We just made it. Have a great time now. You look beautiful. Tina! Tina! <laughs> I wish I could stay and see the wedding parade. But never mind. Lisa can tell me all about it later. We'll soon be home and your mum will be coming to pick you up. <laughs> hello, <laughs> Tina, come away in. Mum's here, Lisa. Oh, hello, Lisa. And I hear you and Granny Murray have both had a fab day. Oh, we sure did, didn't we? Thank you. Oh, <laughs> my wee angel. Beloved Geralt. Oh, and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Whatever the wedding, you should always look your best. It saved the day. Oh, I'm pleased. Right, come on, you two. <gasps> Let's get your coat on. Get home. Get Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, chasing, painting, laughing, begging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, fighting, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a beautiful, blushing bride because Dr Juno was going to a Hindu wedding. The children and I did a celebration tambourine dance and then we practised some Indian dancing, just like they'll be doing at the wedding party tonight. Dr Juno came to my house to get ready so the children could see the beautiful Indian sari she was going to wear to the wedding. We all thought she looked like a princess. Then we saw the bridegroom ride past on his big white horse. My, did he look handsome. As I always say, whatever the wedding, you should always look your best. And Dr Juno arrived in style in a sparkling clean pink taxi. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Where the fairy folks dance the blue Time to call on Granny Marie 